I'm Mike Petchy, and I'd like to give you a look at how we created the creature effects from my new sci-fi horror film, 12 Kilometers. The movie is about a team of Russian scientists that in the 1980s had drilled the deepest hole known to man. In our film, the team dredges up an ancient evil in the form of a deadly microscopic organism. When setting out to make this project, I knew that I wanted to film as many practical effects as possible. I needed to find an oily substance that could not only be puppeteered, but could also take on many different forms. Most importantly, it needed to look amazing at a microscopic level. So I teamed up with microbiologist and macro photographer Lyndon Gledhill. His extensive work with ferrofluid and photographing microscopic creatures proved to be a perfect fit for our film. Together, we staged a series of experiments that were captured using high-powered microscopes and state-of-the-art camera equipment provided by Rule Boston Camera. We tried everything from puppeteering the fluid with high-powered magnets to sound wave manipulation, exposing it to extreme heat and various chemical mixing. This was a completely different experience than I would have had if we were doing 3D animation. I actually got to hunt and search with a lens to find the stuff that worked. Linden had the idea of creating these tiny fossilized sets, no bigger than the surface of a dime. It was on this otherworldly landscape that we were able to place our monster and see it come to life. So after a weekend of filming, I brought the hard drives filled with 4K footage back to our post-production offices at McFarland and Pesci. I knew that a lot of the formats that we shot on would really tax on our old Mac Pro towers. This was a perfect time for an upgrade. I reached out to both Puget Systems and Ezo Monitors. I wanted to build a monster of a machine that could handle our creature. It needed to be able to handle multiple shooting formats, ranging from 1080 to 4K. And I needed a calibrated monitor that would display an accurate representation of the kaleidoscope of colors we captured on set. What we got was the Genesis 2 from Puget, a powerful custom-built workstation that could easily handle all of my needs. We paired it up with an ESO CG277 self-calibrating monitor. That means that I can trust that the color tweaking that I'm doing in the edit room will look that way on your TV, phone, or computer. Thanks to Ezo and Puget, I was able to do amazing things in post-production and finish what I consider to be my best film. It's projects like this that embody everything I love about being a filmmaker. I get to collaborate with amazing artists, engineers, film technicians, and even a mad scientist to make my nightmares come true.